But you guys got another video request here for you on how to remove old device drivers on Windows 11 or Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. So every now and again, you're going to be plugging in a device and you're going to need a driver to install that on your system to get your device working properly. If we right click on the start button and go to device manager, you're going to see all your device drivers listed inside here. But sometimes you're going to have drivers that are not in use anymore. If we go to view and say, for instance, show hidden devices, this will show you all of the hidden devices in here. There will be like a transparent type driver here. You can see them here. I'll uh, highlight them here so you can see. Now these can be classed as uh, not in use drivers or old drivers that are not used anymore. Maybe you've not plugged that device in for a very long time and that device is now not being used and it's safe to remove this uh, driver. Sometimes these can cause issues when you're trying to get a device working and you can remove old devices in this manner, as you can see here. We've got a bunch of them here all grayed out, and that just means they're not being used. If I plugged in that SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 device, they would suddenly populate and they would start to work. But because there's so many of them here, it means when you've plugged them into different ports, they sometimes create little drivers here, as you can see. You could uninstall these. They're safe to right-click and uninstall these and remove them from the computer. It's safe to do so. You're not going to hurt the PC in any way, and you can just remove them like this. As soon as you plug the device back in, it's going to get a device driver for that particular hardware here. So that's basically how you can remove these. Now, what about uh, the drivers that are showing up here? You can see them with, with the actual drivers that are uh, working and installed. They are safe to uninstall as well. They will just get reinstalled if they're needed. So if you do want to uninstall these, all you need to do here is right click on any of these drivers and go to properties and then you can uninstall the driver here. Let's just take a look here and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we're going to go to a particular type of driver here and uninstall one. Let me just show you. Go to say network here. And you can see there's no transparent type drivers inside here. They're all being used. So if I right click here and go to properties and then go to uh, driver, then you'll see where we can either update driver or disable driver or we can uninstall uh, device. And this will uninstall the actual driver from here and you can download and reinstall uh, a new driver. And that's pretty much it. But these drivers are pretty new, so I'm not going to uninstall these. But that's how you can basically remove them from your PC. Now, if it's an NVIDIA driver or an AMD driver, you can use DDU. This is going to allow you to remove the whole driver from the system and you can download and install this. It's free to download. And this is going to remove every part and even the remnants of drivers that are left behind, which can cause problems uh, when you're trying to install or update drivers or trying to remove drivers. So you can use programs like DDU to uninstall the graphics drivers very simply and easily. So all you need to do here is click on the OK here. And uh, this will come up with your options area. So you can select which ones you want to do here. Just make sure you've got prevent download of drivers for Windows updates. If you're having an issue with Windows updates, putting a driver on that doesn't work properly, you can put this in here, uninstall the driver, and it will stop Windows from downloading and installing the driver that you don't want on the system that may be causing an issue. There is a section here for AMD and NVIDIA. I've ticked all the NVIDIA ones here. Click close. And it's going to ask you to restart into safe mode and remove the driver from that location. That's probably your best bet here. So if I click close here, you can remove it from the desktop and it has worked for me before. But before you do all that, you need to select the actual device, whether you want audio or GPU. So you can remove audio ones here. I'm going to select NVIDIA here, GPU. But there is other options available, like I've said before, NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. And you can select which one you want. Once you've done this, you can click on the clean and restart, highly recommended, and it will remove all of the uh, driver and any sort of remnants that are left behind normally when you just use the uninstall method. So it's a very good way of doing it. I'm not going to go through this process because I've covered it before, but that's basically how you can deal with uh, drivers and graphics drivers uh, and audio drivers using DDU. Now also disk cleanup tool. If you type disk cleanup or disk in there, you'll see disk cleanup tool. Click OK here. And this will open up the application, which we can actually look at here. Now, inside here, you should see the disk cleanup utility. And uh, there's no mention of drivers or anything like that inside here yet. 
But if we click on the clean up system files, this will take us to the next screen, which will then give us the option to remove uh, the uh, drivers on the system. So I'm going to click OK here and uh, let this open up. It does take a bit of time, so let us be patient. Let me drag this back onto the screen here. And inside here, if I pull down a little bit in the list, you should see device driver packages. There's no, none in here at the moment, but if there was, they would be stored. And it says Windows keeps copies of all previous installed device drivers packages from Windows updates and other sources even after installing new versions of the driver. Uh, this task will remove any sort of older versions or drivers that are no longer needed. This is important if you want to get rid of all the old drivers uh, on your system. And it's always best to remove them because sometimes they can conflict and cause a massive issue with devices. So it's always good to remove all the old uh, drivers that are not in use anymore. And that's basically how you can do it there. So very simple and easy to do. Let me just show you where the driver folder is installed here. I'm going to go to the C drive, then go to Windows, come down to where it says System32 here. Click on System32. And inside here, we're looking for drivers. And there'll be a folder called Drivers. Go in there, and you should see a load of drivers in here. And this is where they're all located, and this is where Windows stores them all. Now, if you've got a really uh, old installation on your system, there's going to be quite a lot of old drivers inside here that are not in use anymore. They generally don't harm the system to leave them in there. But if you do want to remove them, this is how you go about doing it. Very simple and easy to do. And especially if you're having an issue with some sort of device, you can remove the old drivers first. Also, I'll leave the link for this article in the description. This is getting a little bit more technical, which is probably out of the scope of this video. And it's just basically using command prompt to add uh, drivers to an offline Windows image and uh, removing them as well. And there's loads of information on their website. So I'll leave that in the video description for you. I'm not going to add it in this video because it's a little bit out of the scope of this level of uh, content for this video. So I don't want to confuse people. But you can see here, there's quite a bit of information here. If you do want to see a video on this, let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. The first tier members group doesn't normally get a mention, but I do want to give them a special mention because they have subscribed to my YouTube members group. Also, my tier three, which is GeoSam and also Welsh Tony One, have joined my tier three uh, group, which I do appreciate. And obviously, all my second tier YouTube members, which will roll up on the screen right now. So, anyway, my name has been Brian from BrightTechComputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you on the Discord server if. You are a YouTube member, you get the access to the voice chat, which I'll be happy to have a chat with you. If you've got a YouTube membership, then let me know and I'll give you that role. Bye for now.